The Board of Directors, my name is Kang Nguyen, together with my team members Camille Nguyen, Darcy Trung, Uy Nguyen, and Harry Pham. We are delighted to be here today. In the coming decades, the digital economy, fueled by massive demand for technology, including cloud computing and AI, will race eight times faster to achieve advanced digitalization and sustainability. As a buy-side analyst at IFSA Network, we are advising IBM's board on whether to acquire Equinix or another potential target in the best interest, with the main goal of expanding its footprint in the digital infrastructure and cloud services globally. After intensive investigation and analysis, we believe that IBM should not acquire Equinix, but Capo DC rate. While Equinix initially appeared as a promising candidate, it is not our optimal choice in terms of IBM's financial ability, cannibalization, and antitrust law. It was not just a question of can we, but should we? We have unveiled a unicorn of potential, Capo DC rate, as an alternative that strengthens IBM's strategy, aligns with IBM's financial capacity by offering quality data centers in which IBM lacks presence, and avoiding cannibalization. To see it better, let's dive into a detailed examination of Equinix. Equinix is the world's leading digital infrastructure company, focusing on three main segments, digital infrastructure, interconnection, and data center services. In 2023, it had 250 data centers and access to the world's largest industry ecosystem. Equinix can help IBM deliver application-centric hybrid cloud connectivity and AI services to enterprises across 32 countries. In return, Equinix can take advantage of IBM's financial strength and expertise for future development. Despite several benefits Equinix can bring to IBM, we believe that IBM's acquisition of Equinix is not a financially wise decision. We also see several drawbacks such as cannibalization and antitrust regulation. Firstly, after analyzing IBM's past acquisition, we realized that the median acquisition price is $845 million. However, Equinix Enterprise value is $80 billion, indicating that Equinix does not align with IBM's price range and more than double Red Hat's acquisition price the biggest acquisition of IBM so far. Secondly, analyzing three different financing structures, none of them are feasible or logical for IBM. Using debt financing is not a favorable option due to IBM's high current debt ratio of 44%, exceeding the industry average of 26%, they would downgrade IBM's credit rating to CAA1. In another scenario, if IBM uses equity financing, it would have to issue roughly 46% of current shares outstanding, creating a big dilutive effect on existing shareholder. The third option is to use both cash and equity financing. If IBM uses on $13 billion of its cash, it would still need to raise at least $67 billion by issuing a large amount of equity raising significant concerns among shareholders. In addition to financing problems, IBM may face cannibalization and antitrust law. Combining two big companies will increase IBM's market concentration and stifle IBM's long-term innovation due to the lack of competition. Additionally, internal competition between IBM services and Equinix offering may result in customer loss and profitability constraints. For all of these reasons, our team decided to reject Equinix. In evaluating alternatives to Equinix, we focus on key factors for IBM's strategic expansion, including a suitable market cap and owning data centers globally. Then, why should IBM take this unicorn into account? Capital DC Reed is the first pool play data center real estate investment trust in Asia with a portfolio of 23 data centers. Spreading widely across key regions, the unicorn stands as IBM's gateway into untapped territories, especially the fast-growing market of the Asia-Pacific, such as China and Malaysia. Therefore, this acquisition can also be seen as a strategic alignment with the APAC region, 
whose tax spending growth is predicted to at almost 6% in 2024, compared to 5.5% in North America market, where IBM has already been a powerful tech giant. So why not Asia? Financially, the deal matches with IBM's strategic investment criteria. Capital's market value of approximately $2 billion and the enterprise value of $3.6 billion fit neatly within IBM's historical acquisition range. This reasonable price tag, along with Unicorn's decade-long experience and the loyal customer base, makes it an invaluable access for IBM. Besides, the innovative endeavors of our Unicorn target, including data center research projects, offer an enhanced backbone for cloud development to meet the searching demand professionally and support IBM technologies. Moreover, the promising mutual access to mutual partner spaces can leverage IBM's partner ecosystem and Capital's global client reach. At the heart of this transaction is a shared commitment to sustainability, paving the way to a future where both companies not only grow together, but also contribute to a sustainable technology world. Numbers do not lie. Unicorn's business has been outstandingly successful compared to its peers. It has an evident margin of 74% compared to 50% in the data center industry. More significantly, its profit margin is 44%. Is that amazing? The company also shows a healthy debt to EBITDA ratio of 6%. Now, this is the optimal reason for acquiring Unicorn. With a conservative approach, we can estimate a $2.3 billion in net present value revenue in these three new markets in five years, which have a total forecasted market volume worth $103 billion and a CAGR of approximately 7%. This contributes to the total net present value of revenue synergies to more than $4 billion in five years. Using equity value method shows a current enterprise value of $3.6 billion. While accounting for cash and debt result in the equity value of $2.2 billion, this contrasts with the market's undervaluation by 7%, indicating that Unicorns is an attractive acquisition candidate. On the other hand, using projected free cash flow method, we found that the intrinsic valuation is roughly 40% above the market cap. Short-term synergies also play an important role in the deal. We assume that with the combinations of the two companies, the combined entity EBITDA margin could be increased to 22.5%, a 0.5% increase in EBITDA margin. That being said, with a value of $484 million in short-term synergies and a current market cap packed with a 21% premium equal to the Singapore average for the IT infrastructure industry in 2024, we could end up with an acquisition cost of roughly 18% below the expected value. Most importantly, our break-even point could be reached with a 39% premium. We also developed a merger model based on an offer price premium for a mix of cash, debt, and stock. The acquisition is projected to be accredited to IBM's EBS by 3%, confirming the merger's financial viability. Our post acquisition strategy focuses on integrating data centers and harnessing ABEX rapid market growth. Our plan involves improving energy efficiency and deploying green technologies to reduce consumption by 15 to 20 percent within three years. Leveraging geographic advantages and diverse customer base will create economies of scale and position IBM as the dominant player in the region. To conclude, IBM should opt for the unicorn capable. Venturing toward Equinix would lead us to a huge debt burden. In contracts of unicorn valuation, does not only offer a unique investment opportunity, but also a much more manageable side. Then, when we roll for such an appealing bargain. Now, let's imagine the global map, where Equinix overlaps lead to redundancies. The unicorn opens a gateway to the private and fertile heart of the ABEX market. Furthermore, acquiring Equinix could hinder long-term innovation while the unicorn protect IBM from regulatory risk and encourages healthy competition. In the end, the future is defined by what we embrace, not avoid. A future where IBM doesn't just lead, but pioneer with a sustainable commitment. Together, let's step forward into a future where success isn't just achieved, it's bridged and spreaded.
Thank you for listening.